good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the WGLNA Season 2 Gold Leagues. I'm your host, Christian Toma. To my left, David Williams. Make sure to check us out on Facebook and YouTube backslash WGLNA. As always, watch us on BattleViewer.com if you're not there right now. And follow us on Twitter at WGLNA so you guys can stay up to date on what's happening in the community around you. And answer for us the question of the day. Cheers, who is your pick? For best scout in WGLNA. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Still somewhat undecided so far today. It's been Perma Blue. Perma Blue's been killing it today. You guys have been watching ama some amazing scouting if it plays. For, if it weren't for him, they might not have won that whole match. Really? Yeah. All right. Well, there yeah. you guys go. Let us know who you guys think is the best WGLNA scout. Tweet at us your answers. We'll stay Dry kinda, Nits time now. Going back. This is the one you've been waiting for. We're yeah. talking about how going Dry Nits, Wall Hacks, and Dry Nits is about to go down. So let's take a look at who we've got between the face off. On the side of Aquatic M60s, we've got Mr. Man. On the side of Simp, we've got Overload Prime. Gentlemen, welcome to the face off. Mr. Man. Gonna go ahead and start out with you. Now we're we're about halfway through the season. Kind of the same thing I kind of talked to with Metalhawk about on 07. You guys are in the kind of bottom five right now. But after last week's performance against 07, do you guys feel like you can climb out of that? You know, kind of the relegation danger zone. Oh, I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to make a Jay Smith reference there. <laughs> uh, yeah, we we definitely feel that we could climb out of the uh, the regulation just simply because of how many more games we still have left to play in the let or the rest of the season compared to everybody else. All right. Yeah. Best of luck to you guys. You guys, you guys are improving pretty quickly, too. It's good to see. All right, so who on your team is the scout? Um, Morphic usually does most of the scouting stuff on our team. He usually plays, like, the two rates. So. Nice. All righty, nice. <laughs> and who are your World of Tanks heroes? If anyone. Maybe it's yourself. Uh, yeah. Maybe it's Overlord Prime. You don't have to tell <laughs> that, though. <laughs> don't tell <laughs> Heavy 20 is probably my uh, my World of Tanks hero. Back when I used to first start playing and I was watching the Gold League, I used to uh, aspire to be like Heavy 20, so. Awesome, there you go. It's, it's also awesome to see like the variation between all these, you know, everyone that we've heard tonight. We've heard such a variety yeah. of people. It just shows just yeah. kind of how awesome and just how, how, how vast these people are. Well, thank you, Mr. Man, for those. Overload Prime, over to you guys now. So, so last week, you guys really took it to simple tankers we kind of talked about the beginning you even said hey we, let's not have our our usual kind of tie it up it's just you know 5-0 you guys 5 one up so congratulations on that <laughs> and, and looking at so far in the season you guys had a great turnaround what do you feel as a team is, is you know contributed to that the most um well you know what's contributed to it the most was you know the addition of uh, root awakening and e63 m6 that you guys were you know, highly praising us for, and also uh, we've been, we've been working heavily on our teamwork in the battles, and as you saw, that really picked up in the last last week. Yeah. But uh, personally, I think around here is where it becomes really dangerous for a team like ours. Uh, as you guys said, we did beat Noble, we did beat Simp, and those those teams are considered you know the more consistent, um, higher end teams. And you know, overconfidence kills teams at this point, and we we don't want to underestimate our opponents. We want to go into this with a level head, with a clean slate, and fight a. Aquatic M60s with all we've got. All right. Well, best of luck. You guys do that tonight. To, to deal in cliches one game at a time, just try to play the best you can. There Don't worry go. about the rest. All right. Prime, who is your scout on SIP? Who could that possibly be? Well, <laughs> Negatron, you did say earlier it was Drynitz. Oh, but I did. I'm going to have to agree with you that, yes, it is Drynitz. Oh, wow, that's <laughs> shocking. <Yeah. laughs> he said but. That's, I was like, wait, what? Yeah, he's messing with us. <laughs> and Prime. Who are your World of Tanks heroes? Uh, my single World of Tanks hero is Antonio Handsome from Fnatic. <laughs> back, uh, back like a year ago. Uh, the reason being is he was what really <laughs> caused me to get better at the game. But he was like the worst teacher kind. He was the guy who would just sit <laughs> in the back. And when you made a mistake in a battle, he'd be like, what you did was stupid. <laughs> like, Good job, I'll carry you. And then I was like, oh, OK. Uh, thanks for platooning with me. Oh, Every single time. That sounds like an amazing teacher. What are you talking uh, about? Antonio is one of my old teammates. We'll talk about that yeah. afterwards. Let's wrap this up. Gentlemen, thank you so much. Uh, Mr. Man, before we get started, anything you'd like to say to Overload Prime? Good luck, have fun, and let the best team win. All right, Overload Prime, your response. Yep, good luck. Let's have a clean battle, guys. Gentlemen, best of luck to both of you. We'll see you in the battle soon. I'm still waiting for somebody to respond to that. The let the best team win with, we will. It's just, it's just hanging there. <laughs> Aquatic M60s, we just saw Mr. Man, Morphic is their scout. And uh, we've also seen a number of the other players do pretty well. Redux, occasionally, it kind of fluctuates for AM60. And for Simp, a lot of people. 
but we'll see that on this screen as well. M60s prefer to play Steps. Sip prefers to play Ruinberg. That's not a shocker. That's been true pretty For much forever. Forever. <laughs> they like the 215B, and AM60s likes the 140. Both good tanks. Depending on the maps you play, if you're playing Ruinberg, it's a pretty good one. If you're playing Steps, it's a great one. Huh. Makes sense. Okay. Over here, for them, Mr. Man's their top scorer, and for Simp, it's currently Photo Finish. However, it really depends on the game for them, in my opinion. But Photo is a great player deserving of the recognition. Mm. People who had to play the Tier 8s, who like Sakumi, Canadian Impact, a lot of these times, they were they were so important to the team, and they just didn't get the numbers. But at Tier 10, that balances out. All right. So what they were talking about, uh, Overlord Prime, Antonio Handsome is one of my old teammates. Mm. And it's especially funny to me because uh, in, in ways, Antonio is one of my oldest teammates. Okay. From way back in Clan Wars, one of the first guys oh, wow. I really worked with on strategy. Wow. Uh, actually, it's Barroom who kind of gave me my first, like, in to a clan. Okay. Taught me some of the basics of Clan Wars. And then people like me and Antonio started making our own Clan Wars team and working together. So Antonio and I, taught e we taught each other things. <laughs> <laughs> Different things. One of the things I tried to help Antonio with was uh, working with other people, which oh. he actually got very good with. But he's he's a funny, sarcastic <laughs> guy, and if he if he actually if he's if he's insulting you, that means he likes you. Hey, so there so, you go. Over the prime, he you likes go. you. Well, we are about to get ready to our fourth and final match of the night, starting out on Cliff. It is Sip versus Aquatic M60s. Let's get right into it and take a look at what we've got for our tanks. <laughs> we, we had a lot of sharks like that on my team. Aquatic M60, 140, and STB, 2T22s, 2 TVPs, and RU251. Simp with a bad shot in STB, 2T22s, 2 TVPs, and RU251. Again, we're going to see Aquatic M60s uh, going against uh, another team uh, you know, just higher up in the standards on a cliff. And this is something that I, I really loved about Aquatic M60s, is they did not shy away from Noble. They're like, you know what? Yeah, we're on cliff. We're going to take it toe-to-toe -to, -toe to you guys. Absolutely. Simp trying to get that early pick on Flesh. He is lined up, and they will get it. All they got to do is round this corner and take it. But they can pick up Morphic. Maybe not. Slipping oh. away. One shot into Flesh. But Drox has got the room. Not really sure why that one slipped right by. Simp perhaps wondering if there's more tanks there to follow. They are going to move up into the donut, try and take advantage of that. Aquatic M6 is going to rotate as many as they can over to try and make that an overmatch. Simp does have to do a lot of damage into the backside to make sure Drox and E63 don't go down for free. Wow. Drox and E63 need to drive over the top to make sure they try and stay alive Shape as long as possible. Shapeshifter taking a lot of damage. Over 1,000 points there on STV1, but now Adroxus is in some trouble. Aquatic M6 is barely down upon a position, and Adroxus going down here, and they're going to continue to push, but Crimson Corsair takes down Felix. E63 over 6, over 1,500 points in there in that 50 51 17 65 now one more shot he'll be going down mr man finds that one now two tanks have fallen for simp uh only one for aquatic m60s morphic continue to go down against dryness two shots going between the scouts not a single one connecting meanwhile by donut we continue to have a fight here aquatic m60s though is bunched up in a very peculiar position simp starting to whittle him down here from all different sides from the front from the left and from the right photo finish this and overall doing a great job with that one Shots are going out onto both of these teams. Mr. Man taking some as well. Drynus, meanwhile, the uh, the scout battle has become between Morphic and Drynus. The R251s, but Nitz takes on Flush. Photo finish finds Veggie. Two tanks going down there for Aquatic M60s. A nice double kill coming out there for Sim. Crimson Corsair taking down Redux. And now Shapeshifter going down to Overlord Prime. Aquatic M60s starting out very strong there, but Sim able to kind of take it back from them as Mr. Man does find Nitz. Drynus there takes out Morvik. Photo finish takes down Mr. Man. And that is the last tank for Aquatic M60's what? Sip with a what? first victory. I'm confused about so much of what happened in that match. First off, <laughs> AM60's should not have lost that after getting two early picks. Huh. But Morvik and Drynus fought, and I swear Drynus was firing HE at him. But it worked. I saw him hit from a lot that oh. ha had to be HE. Huh. But I, what a call. He's got to know something about the RU-251 that I don't know at this point. Uh, granted, it, this tank wasn't around when I was playing, mm. so it's very, very <laughs> likely that I don't know. Okay. Uh, but that was that was very interesting and very strange to me. Uh, let's go ahead and hold on one second. Get a legal stats. Oh, but, but again, like I said, two. I, I thought Aquatic m 60s had that. They picked up two members of Sim right off the bat, and then Sim was able to kind of barrel them out. They bottlenecked them right into that position, kind of underneath the donut, and that I seem like was kind of like the death uh, right there of Aquatic okay. m 60s. Yeah, at the end. we can look at numbers now. Let's take a look at stats. Mr. Man with nearly 2,000, Morphic with almost 1,700 there as well. And then over here for Simp, Crimson Corsair with 2,700, Nits with 2,600, Photo Finish with almost 2,200, and Dry Nits for RU251 with 1,400 on his own. Can't really tell what round he was firing by that damage number, because that's well within what AP could have been. Okay. 
uh, or sorry, what heat could have been, I guess, as well. Um, I don't know. Mm. I don't know. Tricky. It had to be. Tricky. I saw him do like 40 in one shot and almost 300 in another shot. Wait a minute. How, how, Something doesn't seem and right. When, when you switch back and forth between different ammo types, it's just you just have to do the reload time over again, correct? Yeah, there's also a skill called intuition, uh, which has a certain percentage chance to just automatically load the what? next round. When you sick. switch, assuming you're already loaded. Oh, okay. Gotcha. So it's like. It oh, doesn't just shortcut load around. I was like, well, you get two shots off no, with no, no. nothing? That makes more sense. <laughs> Sip, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, is up <laughs> 1 to 0 against Quantic M60s. Let's get right into the next battle and take a look at what we've got. Actually, thanks. Oh, never mind. We're not going anywhere. There's going to be a DQ. I will get word on that uh, right now before we get into that battle. It'll be interesting to kind of see who was responsible for that. Um, they'll get the word that AM60 had the illegal amp there. So another victory there going out for Simp. David, if we go into a tiebreaker, does that count as a fast victory? No. Okay, just wondering, just wondering. Shouldn't. <laughs> that'd be crazy. That'd, 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 that'd be, be like hard to beat. Crazy getting... overpowered, but... <laughs> that'd be hard no, to it, beat. It doesn't. And honestly, uh, do you think we're going to see a tiebreaker between AM60 and Sim? Hey, I don't know. I AM60 don't know. plays well, but Sim's on a tear right Killing now. Killing it. Come on now. That's true. That's true. Um, so yeah, actually, on, on the whole intuition thing, I think there are instances in where it does automatically load, but it's rare. Hmm. I forget the exact details of it. Honestly. Okay. Because uh, it has changed since the first time it came out, I believe. Hmm. I think there was like a week where you could load an entire clip by just spamming back and forth in the buttons <laughs> until something <laughs> loaded. <laughs> it's something like that. I, I remember for some tank. reason. I remember for some reason when I was leveling the AMX 5100, there was a reason why you would bring AP and APCR and just switch back and forth between the two and make it work. I think it was something like that. That was fun. I'm, I could be crazy I'm, for I'm, all I'm I know. Just, this is like I'm, three I'm years ago at this point. I'm all that. This is a long time ago. Which is why how. He's a pro. How could you not remember that? It was a long time long ago. Long time ago. Yeah. Long time ago. I can ago. barely remember what I had for breakfast this morning. And I'm not pro anymore. If I was, I'd know. Yeah, you're pretty pro. You're pretty yeah. pro. You're pretty pro, David. Yeah. Uh, so one, one thing, and this might be maybe yeah. maybe a topic. Tell me if we should stay away from this or not. This season, I feel like there's a lot more DQs than the last season. Is that? Yes. It, it, I, it, why? Why? Is there is there any rhyme or reason that you can think of? All the teams that are getting DQs. Well, AM60 is not really a new team. I don't know. Hmm. I mean, I mean, because I understand, like, yeah, it's, it's human error, and there's a little slip to happen, but, like, we didn't see it at all last season. We saw it maybe twice, I feel like, the entire season. And this season, we see a lot more. Maybe it's the new tier 10 it, format. It, it happens. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, we were very disciplined about how we changed, and there were still a couple of times where somebody brought their own tank. Hmm. And it's always a tough decision when that countdown is happening. It's like, do I change my tank? And guys, possibly guys, we guys. don't and have everyone, one. Everyone's talking. Because if he's not ready when the match starts, you're just down a tank. Right. Uh, <laughs> Which is pretty much, yeah, pretty much kind of help us over there. We'll get into this later right now. Simp is up 2-0 to zero against Aquatic M60s. They're back on defense. Let's get right into it and take a look at what we've got for tanks. It happens fairly often in practice. Oh, okay. And then sometimes you just play with it. And you're like, oh, that tank can turn out to be pretty good. <laughs> AM60s with two 140s, an STB, two, TV, two T22s, a TVP, an RE251, simple with two 113s, an STB, two T22s, a TVP, and an M40, M43. All right. Yeah. Right. I mean, see how it works. If it hasn't been fully practiced, two game leads, not a bad time, to, bad time to do it, but sure. Uh, probably well, practice it in practice. <laughs> well, well, actually, that, actually, that's a great point because I love to talk about that because I love to kind of kind of flesh that out a bit. What does that look like? You know, when your team, obviously you can practice a lot during the week and you can try out your different scenarios. Like, oh yeah, this works, this works, this works. Is there a really big difference during game day than practice? Yes, huge. And there's also significant differences in how teams practice. And it actually tends to be a regional thing. Really? Uh, really? Yeah, actually across most esports, both NA region and EU region practice very differently. And it often comes at the detriment of the North American region, if you ask me. But it's very difficult to find people to practice the way you should. We'll talk about that. You'll have to remind me, Simp is about to come crashing head to head and do AM60 directly underneath this hill. And they are caught in a very awkward position. It's looking bad for Simp. Photo finish taking a lot of damage there. 918 flush taking AO7 himself in that 50 51. But now it looks like Simp is in the same position that Aquatic M6 is in just two. Well, you know. Last battle that you guys saw, Crimson Corsair, 1,100 points damage to that 50-51. Felix taking him out there, and that is one tank dropping for Simp.
a uh, single one for Aquatic M60s. The HP though is still pretty close. Photofin is taking another shot there over the prime, being sent to go down off the donut and the T22 to deal with flesh and morphic for Aquatic M60s. E63 M6 taking some damage as well. Adrox is being lit up. He goes down. Flesh picks him up there. And that is another tank falling for Simp. Simp down now two. Finally, photo finish finds Flesh. Ty uh, starting to crawl their way back here. Let's see if they can continue as they are now surrounding Morphic. He should be going down any second now. Uh, E63 M6 is going to be one to finish him off there. And now two tanks for each team. Redux, though, finds this there in that STP1. And now the uh, upper hill goes to Aquatic M60s. Veggie taking a lot of damage. Redux taking some as well. And that T22 has to be careful. It'll be interesting to see where Dryden's kind of comes into play here in that artillery, what kind of shots will matter? Because right now, as they're starting to run away, Redex still spotted. He just now kind of out, got out of spotting range here. We'll see if uh, one shot from Drynez will be able to end him, or if he's just going to go for that more kind of guaranteed stuff on a Shapeshifter and Veggie up on top. Mr. Man taking a little bit of damage there. A63 taking some as well. The HP, about 900, now over 1,000, as over the prime takes 288 from Aquatic M6. He's there, and Aqu uh, Sim, I'm not sure why they're bounce. pushing up here. Here, and Mr. Man takes down photo finish. Dryness finds Veggie there in the artillery. That is one day down. It looks like Simple's like, all right, we got one. We got one. Back up, back up here. Trying to start a fight here. Over the prime, though. One more shot. He'll be going down. Mr. Man pushing up, takes it. Uh, picks up that T22 in the T22 of his own. Shapeshifter finds the 63M6. And it looks like the artillery just wasn't the uh, Look at right how long tank this reload is. for the job. Yeah, that is ridiculous. And I mean, and I kind of see what you mean here now. This actually, this shows a, a really good example to me of why you know, if if that artillery just doesn't work out for you, how can be super detrimental? Because shapeshifter one shot, Mr. Man one shot, Redux mm -hmm. one shot. You have another tank in the battle, and, and with a quicker reload. Let alone dryness in an RU two fifty one. Sure. Sure. Kill, 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 sure. kill. Sure. On this map? Sure. Sure. Yeah. So let's just try something out. One shot from dryness doesn't connect. Redux. There's not one up. Water M sixties. He's gonna find there. Now, first victory of the night. We have one more battle to go on uh, Cliff. It'll be interesting to see can Aquatic M60 tied up or will Sim be able to take the lead there? Yeah, I'm not. I'm just. I mean, I'm not sure why. Why they maybe they try that again? Maybe it was just sort of. Hey, we, we, we're up. A, we're up a battle. We're feeling confident. We want to try this out. Trying to hop the artillery and it just didn't quite go well. Maybe you know, possibly simple as that. Yeah, uh, that kind of donut area fight could have a lot of tanks in one spot, and if you drop a bomb on it. You're going to do 2,000 damage in one shot. Okay. And track everyone and just ruin them. <laughs> okay. But if you don't... Well... That's it's, it's, a big, it's a big gamble. There it goes. It's a big gamble. Sure. Let's check out the numbers while we can. Let's do it. Shapeshifter with nearly 3,000 damage. Felix with 24. Flesh with 2,200. Mr. Man, 2,000. Nice. Overlord Prime, 3,000. E63, 2,000. Photo finish, 1,900. And there you have it. All right. So, so good damage there overall. Uh, but uh, again, Simp at the end there was decided, they decided to push up against Aquatic M60s. And I feel like, you know, we kind of talked about, you know, having higher ground in the situation, always, you know, uh, not always great because there's gun depression you have to keep in mind. But, you know, usually taking your position and pushing up against uh, uh, more tanks with higher HP. Just doesn't seem like a great idea. Were they doing that because they're like, all right, well, it's over. We might as well try to get some damage here. Or did they think that was like, oh, we're trying to light for the artillery? Probably a little bit of lighting for artillery and trying to create an engagement zone for artillery to get the damage in, plus making sure nobody could easily rotate around to get the da uh, the artillery because they're kind of separated from it. Either way, uh, I don't really know. It, it's hard to judge whether that was a good call or not. Okay. All right. Well, just uh, a nice pickup there for Aquatic M60s. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now getting ready to go into our last battle of Cliff for the night. So let's see who will pick up the victory. Will it be Simp? Will it be Aquatic M60s? Let's get right into it and take a look at what we've got for tanks. I'm gonna get a DQ from Simp here. Wow, Simp! Three T22s, boys. Oh, that is that is that is not gonna do it, guys. And now Aquatic M60s tying it up two to two. Uh, as we're gonna get ready to now leave Cliff and go into the second map of the night. What a, what a great man! I but it, hmm, okay, great. A little bit of misplay coming out from both these teams. Well, we got time. So, <laughs> what do you want to do? My World of Tanks Heroes. Let's go, go for it. Let's talk about it. Uh, friction. Okay. My co-captain did a boatload of work, uh, carried me in times when I couldn't mm. do what needed to be done. It's kind of a two-way street, I feel. Uh, who knows how he feels. Maybe he feels like <laughs> he just did everything. He's in chat. He's like, um, you know, honestly, so many people on my team did so much work. Jackie Rudo. 
is is huge. He came off the bench. He put in so much work to get onto the team. It was huge. Power slide, Deluxe, uh, Lev Shaw, all from Navi, all <laughs> fantastic people. Arklit is one of the most deserving people in the in the game to win. Not only is he a great person when you meet him in, in real life, but he works really hard. He's been around since the beginning. Mm. Uh, Drynitz, similar story. He's been around forever. He used to be in my clan back in the day. I remember bringing him in. I can go on. I can go on for a long time. And uh, apparently we have it, so I'm going to keep going with it. <laughs> Militant, <laughs> Militant 83, he's been through the ringer. He's been through so many teams that have struggled, and he stayed strong and just kept playing anyways. That's, It's so impressive and so hard to do, mm -hmm. to keep that that drive. Jay Smooth, like I said, I wasn't joking. He and his team have been through so much. Sure. They've been relegated. They've they've come close to winning. Well, aren't they they aren't came close to beating us one season. Aren't they the team that's been like maintained the same group of people like yes. the longest yes i believe so yeah uh, it have to be at this point because nobody else even comes close to contention simp Huge. might have if they hadn't changed pretty much their entire roster hmm. uh man i, I pff, heavy 20 and blue boys are in adroxis i remember when these guys were all hopping into our stream channel and and talking to us while we were playing the game <laughs> and then all of a sudden simp recruits them and we're like wait a minute wait a minute are you guys good at the game? Because we've never seen them. <laughs> and and then, yeah, it turned out they were pretty good at the game. Wow. Heavy, 20, Heavy 20 was kind of like the, in a, in a sense, kind of like the power slide of America, where he just set out to be the best and worked really hard at it. Mm. It ended up being a huge boon to his team and carrying them in a number of different situations. Blue Boys, there was a point in time where uh, we didn't we didn't take a 1v1 with Blue Boys very seriously. It was like, ah, oh, it's Blue Boys, go kill him. But I've, I've told the story before. I've told it to him, so it's not that bad. So it's, it's like me and Soviet, we'd be playing some, some match. It's like, it's Blue Boys, go kill him. And if he lost, we'd, we'd laugh at him. And then later it was like, hold up, Blue Boys is good now. Like, he got really good. He worked at it. He got good. Um, Antonio Hanson, been around forever. I told, I said Barroom is one of the guys who got me yeah. first into uh, Clan Wars Clan. at all. Relics brought me into the game. Mm. Cool. Every, everybody huge, at some point huge has, history has been... Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm going to make this request to you. Again, let us know right now. Again, the theme has been scouting, and who, who do you think is the best WGLA scout? But what, what, I, I love this kind of topic, so let us know also who your guys' is a world of tanks. Just, just wait, what's the best word to call them? Hall of Famers? Role uh, models. Role models. Hall of Famers would be good. be interesting to get a, a nice Hall of Fame boat going on. That'd be on. cool. Yeah. Who should make it into the world of tanks? I'd be scared, though, because there'd be a lot of, a lot of old... A lot of, a lot of the best scouts, mm -hmm. uh, kind of the guys who, who founded how scouting is done, don't play anymore. Okay. okay. So, or, or by the time they, they hit WGLNA, didn't get the opportunity to do it as much because the T50-2 kind of disappeared. And that, that was what was the scout for okay. a long time. Or they didn't perform as well because they're at the end of their career, that kind of stuff. Hmm. Um, I probably file into that a little bit. There's a point where I was, I was a very, very good scout, but I never really got to do it at WGLNA that much. Gotcha. Um, You're talking to me about some sweet scout arty, scout arty combos that you guys had going on. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Antonio Hanson was one of those guys. Oh, he, really? he did the arty and I'd scout. <laughs> awesome. It's fun. There we go. Well, fun lady, stuff. ladies and gentlemen, we are now getting ready to go into the next battle. It is all tied up 2-2, two to two, moving into Himmelsdorf. Let's get right into it and take a look at now what we've got for our tanks. How could I forget Soviet? I don't know. I was like, somebody, somebody's leaving out there. Soviet, <laughs> definitely huge on our team. One of the best guys I ever had the opportunity to know or play with. So AM60 is the E100, 2215s, an IS4, uh, an IS7, a T22, and a Lorraine 15551 on this map. And then Simp with two FE215Bs, an IS4, a uh, T22, a W100, an AMX5120, and an ST1. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, but it's a lot of tanks we usually don't see much of not so far. Uh, it be interesting to kind of see how this goes out. Looks like we got the camos yeah, backwards. Yeah, we have to apologize for all the confusion for all the DQs. The camos are now backwards on both teams. So we're, we're just letting these guys try out what it would feel like to be in the other team's shoes. That's that's really what this is going on right definitely. now. That's, that's definitely planned. Uh, Morphic, uh, as well as the rest of Aquatic M60s, really kind of pushing over here from the south. They have sent their artillery up on top of the hill, which makes sense, right? You better, better angles, better vex dropping down in there. But we've also seen the detriment of bringing artillery here once it's shot. It goes through, but kind of talk to me about the artillery that Aquatic M6s have brought. The, the Lorraine, is that what you call it? Yeah, the Lorraine 155-51. It doesn't really have the punch to do damage to a lot of these things, aside from, well, the AMX 5120 it can do damage to. It can certainly do a lot of damage to the W100, but it's a weird tank for this. I don't remember it having a gigantically uh, high arc, okay. which is kind of what you would want on this. 
It's weird. Be interesting to see what they do with it. It's really weird. Six minutes and 36 on the clock. So we have a minute and a half have gone through. We have Overlord Prime. They're spotting out. I'm not sure if he's the one who's seeing more for now. He's definitely not seeing more for right now. Looks like the, uh, oh, obviously that's e 6 3 6 They have spotted each other. Uh, T22 Overlord Prime just doing a little bit of scouting runs, going up and down the one line. Make sure no one's coming from over there. And it looks like Quiet from 60 decided to, to bail off the hill and start pr uh, push pushing most of their guys over to the west. Uh, now, where Simp is set, uh, Himmelsdorf seems like one of those maps where, as defense, it's just, it, it to me seems a lot easier to, again, to me, <laughs> uh, to rotate from like, all right, let's just set all our guys just kind of like right on the alley in, in between, you know, B45, A45, that little alley there. Put your guys there, and whichever cap gets, you know, pressured, we just can rotate <laughs> over and be fine. What's hilarious is that's the super old meta. Oh, really? Yeah, it still oh. works. Hmm. The Northwest Camp on Himmelsdorf. Uh, kind of an aside. Anyways, there was a period of time where we used to try and brawl all the time on Himmelsdorf because we didn't want to deal with camps. Okay. And people used to you, start talking smack about it. And they were like, <laughs> oh, they can't play Himmelsdorf. So we rolled into season four, I think it was. And we were like, fine, can't play Himmelsdorf, huh? Check out our camp. I don't think anybody <laughs> broke it. And we were like, <laughs> see, we can uh, do this too. We're just trying to it's you know, not play fun. the game. Yeah, it's, it's, it gets real. It's real tiresome. Sure. To uh, to camp. Sure. Oh, a little bit of, there, 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 there's a little rain coming out. 127. Yeah. Not tons, but damage. <laughs> What's the reload that's on it? Barely, a, <laughs> barely an acknowledgeable <laughs> amount. Uh, the reload, I couldn't tell you what it is off the top of my head. Faster than M40, M43. That's good. Clearly. Hey, hey that's improved right <laughs> well, Yeah, if it wasn't, you would bring that instead, because it hits way harder. All right. Uh, Flesh from the IS-4 for Aquatic M60 is going to be the one to start putting that cap pressure here over on the west side. He did get reset there by Overlord Prime, who is now spotted out. Sip. A little bit another, another shot there from Lorraine. Not connecting there against Overlord Ruin Prime. Ruin those oil barrels. That's good. You got to clear those out first. Uh, it's amazing there's no, like, casualty from that. Another shot going through. Overlord Prime doing a great job just staying alive here, causing a lot of Aquatic M60s to put pay a lot of attention and resources to just kind of deal with him. Meanwhile, it's going to allow Sip to start rotating, which they are doing. They're sending a Dry Nits, Photo Finish, a Droxis kind of back here over just to these. Yeah, just won't leave that oil, oil alone. Man, when you go to the pump, your gas is more expensive. You know who to blame. <laughs> AM60. <laughs> over $3? This is why. Dry Nits and a Thanks, Droxis guys. now pushing all the way through. Now, this is interesting to me from what we see with Sim because obviously Aquatic M60 is putting some cap pressure on. And it seems like Dryden's and Adrox is taking a really long way around. Is the way they're doing this is because if they took any other way, they get spotted too soon? Yes, or it's dangerous. You have to go down the eight line if you're going to try and flank it from the side. The problem is, like you said, you get disconnected from the rest of your force pretty far. However, with an ST1, two two one fives, and a T22, which can side angle or reverse angle a little bit pretty well, mm. angle, get it all the the never-ending debate about what it's called, side scraping, side scraping, or whatever. Angling. Yeah. It's more colloquially accepted besides scraping. I just hate the term, so I don't like using it. All right, we can call it angling. We will. Okay. I will. Okay. <laughs> uh, you can't really aggress on that. You push up the one-two line, you get ruined. Mm -hmm. So. All right here, and it looks like Felix cut out in the middle, though. That's going to be a big pickup for Simp if they can close it out. And they will with Nitz starting to get wow. his entire clip into wow. a 2 one 5 16, 28, 2,000, and Nitz is going to pick up Felix. And that is the first tank falling for Aquatic M6. He's here. Uh, the cap pressure has been alleviated, all but really neutralized here as Flush just continues to take shot after shot after shot with nothing really in return. They are still, finally, so they're still trying to take down Overlord Prime. They finally pick him up there. Um, but with two minutes and 30 seconds remaining on the clock, I'm not sure that Aquatic M60s can do much here to negate what Simp can do to them. Drox is getting a nice shot there on a veggie, dropping just a 45 points of HP in that T22. He has to start moving, or he's going to be in some trouble because the Drox's shot is up, and he lets it fly, just barely missing veggie right there. 70 seconds on the clock, two minutes overall. Simp looking pretty, David. Simp looking pretty. Indeed. No real impetus for them to nice word. <laughs> take here for them for them to even care about. Morphic and Shapeshifter. Just pretty much being locked down by Adroxus. Drynit's kind of in a nice little pocket to make sure if they try and do anything, he can do damage to him. M60 is pretty much hamstrung. And Sims just waiting for them to bleed out. <laughs> All right, here, 90 seconds on the clock, a minute and 40 overall. Drynit's just letting his shots fly in that 51 
20, but he is getting lit up right now. 1,100 points of damage there. Mr. Man, Flesh, and Shapeshifter are going to be responsible for taking him down, but Morphic should be going down right now. This is one more shot a left. Photo finish takes it through the window, through the wall. And that takes down that IS-7. A minute and 20 on the clock. Five members for Simp still up against the Evil 5 for Aquatic M60s, but Simp, 6,300 points of HP. Aquatic, 2,800. So a big difference right there. Nitz is still alive. Adrox is coming in to uh, kind of shield them up. Do a little battle buddy system we were talking about. Veggie uh, just doing as much as he can. A minute left. It looks like this is all Simp. This is going to start pushing forward. Crimson Corsair taking down Mr. Man. Shapeshifts are taking a shot there. Taking a little bit. Lorraine hasn't taken any damage. We're interested to see how much it has done. As Nitz takes down Flesh, Adrox is very confident to take down Shapeshifter right there. There he goes, leaving just Veggie in the T22 and Redux. Lorraine, Crimson Corsair finds Veggie. All that's left is Redux. 38 seconds on the clock. Plenty of time to find this artillery. There was absolutely no reason for Simp to do what they did there. Aside from saving time, they could have just waited. Right. But they didn't. Right. And I respect them for that, and I'm happy they did it. <laughs> well, I mean, also, I, I would I would assume, wow, a nice uh, right. this kind of double tap right there at the end. Simp picking up uh, their third victory now of the night against Aquatic, who has two. Uh, but uh, I, I would also kind of think as a team, right, yes, you could, like, obviously Aquatic M60s, I'm, I'm assuming this situation knows, like, yeah, if they sit back and just keep what they're doing what they're doing, they're going to win when the time goes out. But then to be like, yeah, they're going to win this way, but they just decided to just take it to us and win, that just shows so much more dominance. And you have to it really respect them. It does, that. and that's always been one of my favorite parts about it or, or why I've always found that valuable, Okay, is it is a risk. The other team does not – it affects their morale a lot more. Hmm. You're like, yeah, I could have waited, but I came after you anyways, and I still won. <laughs> How do, how do you feel now? How does it make they you never feel? get to relax. They always know. They always feel like you're coming for them. That's really cool. I, th thing. That's great. Yeah. If you, can, a very if you, good you can instill that on your opponent, might as well. Fear's, uh, fear's a valuable ally. That's right. Especially in World of Tanks. So let's look at the numbers. Let's do it. I want to see what that Lorraine did. Point farm? Stats? Please? Here we go. <laughs> All righty. <laughs> Shapeshifter with 3,600 damage in his FE215B. Redux, three shots, six hits, 1,500. I mean, <laughs> I still don't like it. I feel like it hamstrung a lot of their strategy on the map. But it did more damage than a lot of their tanks, so haters going to hate, I guess. Over here for Simp, Nitz with 3,000, E63, M6, 2,700, photo finish with 2,700. And there you have it. This is why I picked photo finish as my person from this match. We haven't seen him take top yet. Mm. But every game, aside from the DQ... Well, the two DQs, <laughs> yeah. he has been second or third. Hmm. This adds Solid up. Player. This adds up. That's why he is the current point leader for the team. Mm. He's just, just consistent, not like not super flashy on top, yeah. never down, yeah. second, third, all the way through. Yep. Well, well done. Well done. It's also often the guy who's going to get reset points. Well done. That helps. Well done indeed, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to the next battle. We have switched sides. Simp is up 3-2 against Aquatic M60s. Let's get right into it and take a look at what we've got for tanks. AM60s with a 50B, an E100, two 215s, an IS4, a T22, and an AMX1390. Simple two 113s, two 50Bs, an IS4, a T22, and an RU251. All right. So that 1390 right coming back. So 1390, RU251. We're talking about scouts, let's talk about these. Uh, now, we have both of them light tanks, both of them are scouts. One's an autoloader, it's not. Pros, cons to both of them. And AMX 1390 can technically clip. In RU251. Head head. Can. Okay. Doesn't mean it will. Okay. If you bounce shots, get a non pen, or low rolls, you lose. So gotcha. it's a gamble. Gotcha. You can win the head to head, you could lose the head to head. Perhaps Drynitz and his whole HE firing meta would absolutely ruin a 1390 with some of those shots. It's possible, I guess. Okay. Uh, one of the things I always used to do, because I played a lot of 1390 against a lot of other 1390s, is right here. Stop wiggling your turret, buddy. Right there. That's where the gunner sits. Well, okay. Uh, I think it's there on the 1390. I think so. I think it's gunner and commander slash loader. Okay. I believe so. So you Especially shoot that. You can of often tell just by the hatch. The big hatch is usually where the commander goes, and then the gunner will be on the other side. Okay. Slightly lower than them in the tank. It's kind of how tanks are configured a lot of the time. All right. Um, See you guys. So you start pumping a lot of shots from your, your tank into the gunner, more chance he'll die, which makes his 
shots worse. Wow. And then you can win head-to-head. -head. All right, guys. So strats that you can apply. I'll have to double check. It should be that way on the 1390, if I remember correctly. I know it is that way on the 5100. All right, Simp, though, going very aggressive over on the north. They're just driving right through the cap. They see Flesh, and they want to take him down, sending their two 113s driven by Nitz and Photo Finish to do the job. Here comes the response. Aquatic M60 is on the way back, but they might not be able to get there in time. Photo Finish already coming around the corner. Nitz now as well. He's going to be in some, uh, some trouble. E6 3M6 just barely missing that shot there. Nitz taking a lot of damage. He's got to back out. 1,500. He gets tracked. 2,290 points of damage, and he is still alive. There he goes. Shapeshifter picking that one up, but there are 22 seconds on the clock. Sim has done a great job applying that pressure. Photo Finish is, is really kind of like, tying up three members right now of Aquatic M60s, but there is the reset damage going on to E63 M6. Photo Finish might be going down here as he is now stuck with three members uh, behind this enclosement. It looks like uh, Aquatic M60s did find another kill. That is two tanks down for Sim. None for Aquatic M6 right now, and Photo Finish is about to fall. That's gonna be a third tank down. Uh, 98 seconds, Dryden is, but they obviously now know it is useless. Dryden is trying to turn around to back up to get out of there. Flesh did take down that 113. Photo finish is out of the fight. Mr. Man taking 104 points of damage. It's not a lot, but man, it seems like a, 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 a failed strategy from Simp right there. 1,300 points of damage. Don't do it, Drox. Is Felix going to finish him off there? Drynitz taking a huge chunk of damage. He's going head-to-head -head against Morphic. 940 there. Crimson Corsair does pick up Morphic in the 1390, saving Drynitz from a certain doom. So that is one tank finally falling for Aquatic M60s. But Aquatic M60s, 7,200 points of HP against 2,400 now of Simp. As Crimson Corsair takes a shot, he is reloading that 50B. Not really anything Simp can do here except for just go down. Aquatic M60s saying, hey, Simp, yeah, you can take it to us, but we can take it right back to you. Veggie takes down over the Prime, leaving just Dryden's and Crimson Corsair alive for Simp. Four minutes and 30 seconds on the clock. Plenty of time for Aquatic M60s to finish. Now they're sending Flesh around the side. He picks up an RE251 driven by Dryden's leaving just Crimson Corsair to be going down to Veggie. And that is going to be Aquatic M60s tying it up now 3-3 three to three against Simp here. David, one thing I want to talk about. Simp is right now tied for first overall. Yep. Well, they no. Technically, no. Sorry, because right. Noble won, Noble won. So Noble is now technically in the lead. You're right. So, But they but they were tied for first. So they're, they're up there in points. How... I mean, they don't want to. I mean, they really don't want a tiebreaker right now if they want to kind of stay up there in the top because a tiebreaker is one point, right? You, you yes. And a victory one point is, if you win, right? And a victory is two. Oh wait, no, two points if you win, one point if you lose. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And victory yeah. is three. Yes. So they really want this victory right now, but Aquatic M60s has just tied it up. It'd be interesting to kind of see uh, where that kind of goes. Maybe Simp, maybe feeling some pressure, and, and Aquatic M60s here, I'm, I'm sure, is just is just uh, loving this. Well, let's check out the stats. Let's check it out. Felix leading off for AM60 with 3,000. Veggie right behind him with 2,700. Redux with 2,600. Mr. Man with 2,000. This is what we were talking about before when it was like, well, that's really hard to tell you who's going to do the most damage for AM60 because they are just all kind of rotating around. It's situational entirely. Sure. And they all play fairly well when they get in the right position. Meanwhile, for Simp, Crimson Corsair, 3,600. Like, what? What? Wait, what? What? No, wow. 3,500, technically. I, I tend to round up, but that's crazy. Hmm. Well done. Who lets a 50B do that? <laughs> well, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it, 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 it's more like he found his way in. Found Overlord it. Prime well with done. about 2,000 and photo finish with about 1,700. Simp just being super aggressive there in the Northern Cap. I mean, just sending, not even going for that uh, uh, pressure to let Aquatic species come to them. He's just, they're just like, hey, we're just going to barrel over yeah. and try to find a nice uh, solution. Simp overplayed that, got caught out, got wrecked. AM60 yeah. kept it together, and then counter pushed uh, very well for the right time. All right. Well, now it is all tied up 3-3 three to three going into our next battle. Let's take a look at what we've got for our tanks. AM60 with an E100, 2215s, an IS7, an I, or IS7, an IS4, T22, and a Lorraine 12551 again. Simp with a 113, a 50B, an E100, a 215, an E5, and two 5120s. Hmm. It's a smaller, I mean, it's a slightly worse 50B. So well. bring two of them, and it'll do the same thing. Uh, roughly, well, the same uh, in a clip. All right. But I think. See how, that, see how that works out for him. So obviously, it should be the same gun. If, yeah. All right. Unless they changed everything. It was the same gun last I played. Hmm. Um, 
or last I looked. <laughs> <laughs> I've played them both since, but yeah, should be the same gun. It's just the uh, the 120 aims slower, reloads slower. Huh. That's it. Okay. So could still do the same damage. I mean, you get them in the right place, it's going to be brutal. It's going to wreck some nice, faces. Nice expenditure of two tier nine points. I've kind of wondered why people don't do it more often, but a lot of times they take T-54s, and that makes a lot of sense as well. I mean, they're all great tanks, so who knows? ST-1's also a great, great decision. We'll see, if it, uh, we'll see if that works out for Sim. Keeping our eye on those two tanks. We're going to open climb and Crimson Corsair here. Shave Shifter taking some shots as he is spotted out. Sim being, again, very aggressive. Uh, yeah. Pushing over now onto the courtyard. This is probably a pretty... Last time we saw them pull this off, they brought 250Bs in from the backside and it absolutely ruined whoever they were playing at the time. I think it was High Voltage. Huh. All right. Well, it seems yeah, like it was they, High Voltage. that's the plan. And we'll see if the Lorraine might be the potential downfall of this plan. Obviously, Aquatic just likes that artillery. Here it comes. E63 and Overlord Prime and a 50B and a 5120 going to come in and light up Morphic or Mr. Man. Mr. Man's probably the better target. That's who they're going to start on. It's going to depend on everybody else coming around over the top. T22 wow. and Redux are completely out of the fight here. So this is looking real, real nice for Sim. It's coming there to join a Mr. Man bouncing a shot there. Overlord Prime taking some return in that 5120 here, but Morphic. Barely uh, holding on there, 787, one more shot, he'll be going down. E63 M6 though is on the reload, over the prime now on the reload as well. Not a tank going there, finally this picks up Morphic. What's up? Uh, just the, none of the shots that he, Overlord Prime should have penned, penned, and then the one he just kind of took and snapped at the U100 pen. Oh. <laughs> well, there you go. Overlord Prime, nice, nice shooting, nice shooting tank. So Droxus picks up Shapeshifter right there. Two tanks have now fallen for Aquatic M60s, and Sip is now just pincering. Uh, the offensive team right over basically where they spawn. Flesh, Felix, Mr. Man for Aquatic M60s. It is just a matter of time before they go down. The only members that aren't in this fight right now are Veggie and Redux from the top of the hill. Veggie coming down to join him. Nitz takes out Mr. Man. Crips, of course, there finds Flesh. Felix now being focused. 1,600 points of damage. 1989. What a great year. And that is going to be that 5B going down. Veggie surrounding Dryness right now. T22 going against the E100. Let's see if he can take him down before the rest of Sim comes and ends his night. 327 going into him. Veggie actually might be able to do it. He's one more shot away. Let's see if he can pick up the E100. No, the shot bounces. And that might be just enough time for the rest of Sim to come in and save him. It is <laughs> Battle Buddies for life. <laughs> Dryness camp that shot for so long Did to he? steal just, the kill. Just waited for it? Yeah. Oh, dry nits. <laughs> dry nits. Uh, Redux going there for a ram to his own demise. Crimson Corsair picking that one And Sim going to find their fourth victory. This is the kind of fun that I love seeing. It's like, like, like you're talking about, like, the game's pretty much over. You know you've it won this. It. Yeah, so point, you know yeah. you've won this. You're like, all right, time to just like get points, trying to troll my team. Uh, dry nits, maybe one of those people who really cares about that. See, stats. that is the point in time in which... I'm 100% fine with people caring about their fantasy points and farming and stuff huh. like that. Like, game's over. Yeah, but if honestly, if anybody even tried it, it would it would be a, a taboo topic gotcha. on the team. Gotcha. If anybody talked about my fantasy points in the middle of a battle, it'd be like, you, sh you're sh you shut your mouth. Shut your mouth. Fantasy points are irrelevant <laughs> we'll to, to you down. right now. Focus on the game. Right. Makes sense. Granted, I'm... Kind of a strict leader when it comes to that kind of things. Friction would do the same thing. What? Though. Let's go to the statistics. Numbers. E63 M6 with nearly 3,000. Dry Nits with 2,800. Look, photo finish, top three. Oh, again. Adroxis <laughs> with 2,400. Nits with 2,300. Over here for AM60. Just Felix breaking two. Nobody else even breaking 1,500. Mm. Now, I, again. I just love when Simp does that. Just very super aggressive. I just love when yeah, any. I just like, love when, wait, wait. I just when teams do that. Offense, yeah, or defense. Yeah, last yeah, round. When you when you question that, it's like that's a good match. It's like when you, when you have both the teams just going for it, finding fights over in the enemy spawn. A fantastic job there for Simp. And, and just th this is now a kind of a, a back and forth here. Simp going a little too aggressive last time. Aquatic M60 is punishing him for it. This time going still aggressive and finding the victory that they were looking for. We are now getting ready to go into our next battle. Simp just needs one more to pick up the victory against Aquatic M60s. Can they do it? Or will Aquatic M60s come back and tie it up? Let's get right into it and take a look at what we've got for our tanks. It's morale and tempo control. Mm. That's what Simp just did. AM60 is the 50B and E100, 2215s and IS4, T22 and an AMX 1390. Simp with two 113s, two 50Bs, an IS4, a T22, and an RU251. Telling you, with the 250Bs, it's either going to be great or terrible. 
Got to get them in the right spot. Once you do, they're brutal. Mm. But until then, maybe not. Mm. So Simp went too aggressive. They lost. It tied up. Then Simp went real aggressive <laughs> on defense. They, they won, won. Took the lead. Yeah. And yeah. sent a message. Yeah. They're not on their heels. They didn't just get smacked by making a mistake. Man. They took it to you again. And <laughs> now am 60s knows it didn't affect Simp that they lost. And Simp doesn't feel the loss anymore because so they just great. had a really aggressive oh, win. I love that. Controlling the tempo. I and love Controlling that. morale. Well done. Simp great really showing, showing how to do it right here it takes guts for to you do guys that. live. It takes guts to do it. Your oh, whole sure. team has to be on board. If it's just the captain, then you will lose that ultra aggressive like, play. Nah. You'll spin out into horrendous, horrendous tilt, and it's over. Because everybody's now mad at the captain for playing too aggressive at the moment. What you need is a team that would flip morale even more. That's hung. That's as hungry as you are for that win. Mm. And you go for it, man. But what, but man, but it's like man. But when you get it, oh yeah. When you get it, feels oh good. it works. When it doesn't work, oh it's oh bad. it does work. <laughs> oh it's bad. Risk and reward, guys. This is what you are seeing right now. The WGLMA. Uh, one minute has gone by, and it looks like Sim is just putting most of their members up on top of the hill. No one spotted yet, except for the T22 driven by Overload Prime. A little bit of a so now, so now, T T22 over the prime, acting as a scout right now. Yes. Yes, in a sense. Okay. Sure. Uh, there's not a whole lot of scouting per se that happens on no, Himmelsdorf. Himmelsdorf. Okay. It just gets into a semantic discussion. Honestly, technically, he's scouting. Yeah. Would a lot of people call it that? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. Sure. Sure. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I call it scouting. So it's scouting for the purposes of our conversation. It's scouting and it's angling, okay? <laughs> Six minutes and 15 seconds. Flesh has been spotted out here. And that eyes for guarding the northern cap for Aquatic M60s. Veggie taking a shot there in his T22. And uh, Simp still just kind of denying a lot of information from Aquatic M60s. I don't think anyone besides, I believe, uh, who was it? Dryness was on top of the hill. Maybe he got spotted. He just came down. Yep. He is actually scouting. Definitely Dry. scouting. <laughs> Drynitz. Right Drynitz, definitely scouting. No argument about that. Morphic, also scouting. Passive scouting, essentially. Proxy scouting, just sitting there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Shutting down a lot of options. So but here comes Drynitz. Well, He's it. not going to not gonna let him live there for long. No, nope. here we go. <laughs> Getting on top of the hill, looking, we turning, about. knows where he's at. Lines up the shot. One going in there. Actually, the first from Morphic going to dry. And it's 275. It's, it's actually kind of tricky to fire out this window. He may spend a little bit too long <laughs> trying to figure out how to do it. Oh, all right. That's 264. <laughs> Another shot. We are seeing dry. And it's figure out how to shoot out of a window. I swear he's done it before, though. I think he just did it a couple turns ago. Or a couple times ago. Or uh, two a matches ago. Battles ago. Battles yeah, ago. yeah. Uh, he has done it before, so I wonder what's going on here. Either way, there's a different spot that. Maybe we're a little bit better, but... All right, well, Sim taking a little bit of poke there from Aquatic M60s. Easy yes. to do that from this seat. Going up, that's true. Going off the hill in the 113, being spotted, but photo finish was not. That's very interesting to me right now, David. Nitz is... He just became unlit. Uh, he ran on the hill. Flesh spotted him out in the IS-4. He's in a 113. Photo finish, not spotted, but also in a 113. And it looks like they, team this, they took the same exact path. This is what you're kind of talking about, like the, this, the sort of like the delay, the back and forth. It could be. Uh, also, sometimes people instinctively back up when they spot something, which is a oh. really bad habit. Oh. Uh, it depends on the velocity. You see somebody come around the corner. If they're just poking, you expect them to fire. If they're going really fast, they want to stay there and fire. But either way, Ooh. Simp's not deterred. They tried it last time. They're going to try it again. Photo Let's push three tanks into four. Four. Photo finish also <laughs> getting tracked out there, so he's going to be a little behind the rest of his teammates. But... Not taking a ton of damage here. Morphic, meanwhile, in that 1390, finally taking some damage. Which I think it's trying to is getting those shots there. Wow, 715 uh, coming out for Mr. Man in that E100 against Photo Finish here. And Simp, Dryden is going down. Veggie picking him up. And that is a tank falling for Simp. Aquatic M60s looking good to take the sure. back up 2,000 points of HP. Not sure what Simp's trying to do here. Get Overlord Prime on the cap and you got something going on. Those 50 Bs are essentially stranded. You're not going to fire that distance all the way down this. And the tanks that matter reliably enough to make those count, those clips count. Now, if you had caught some people in here, sure, that would have been decent. So perhaps one of them or two of them on here to make sure Dryness was okay. Got a really wombo strategy going on is what I'm trying to say. And I don't really, it makes me feel uncomfortable. I don't really know what's going on. And it could cost them big time. Those 50 Bs can't do anything about tanks coming up here. All right, well, can Morphic, only stop this. Morphic has gone out of his uh, F7 position. Here we go. Same proxy spot. Some sort of motion. Morphic's going to see it. That doesn't really matter. They could probably pick him up pretty quickly. Oh. 63 letting the shot go a little bit too early. 
Trademark sniper, that's not particularly common. But now they've left the entire B line open. Simp uh, AM60 is going to counter push, and Simp is looking in big trouble right now. Uh, Nis taking 671 points of damage there in that 113. Flash and Veggie doing a or Felix and Veggie taking a great job, and Felix is going to take down Nitz. That is a 113 followed for Simp. Another take. Easy 3M6 does find Morbic there, but Shapeshifter responds to the photo. Crimson takes down Shapeshifter. It is a back and forth. Easy 3M6 takes down Veggie. It is a four on four now between both these teams, but a quad. M60s does lead in the HP. Adroxus is getting absolutely lit up here by Redux. Mr. Man and Flesh will finish him off here. Redux shot, though, does bounce there. Flesh turning to focus on another member. It'll be interesting to see here who will go down there. Flesh does pick up Adroxus. Two minutes and 20 seconds on the clock. Felix finds E63 M6. And ladies and gentlemen, it looks like we're going into a tiebreaker between Aquatic M60s and Simp going into Ghost Town as Aquatic has four members against the Two of Simp Crimson Corsair, one or two more shots away over the prime, just barely dodging a shot there from Felix and that 50B. Mr. Man, there it goes, taking down the uh, one of the, la well, the last remaining 50B for Simp over the prime with just, what, 26 points of HP overall. He will be going down here, and that is going to be a tying up of 4-4 four to four onto Himmelsdorf. Great play coming up from Aquatic M6 here to stop Sim from what they were trying to do over on the north. Hopefully, the Prime staying alive. Very long. Very, finally, Felix picks him up there. And that is, uh, again, just kind of irrelevant right now for Aquatic M6. He says, we have a tiebreaker. We are now going into Ghost Town again between both these teams. Who will call the timeout? Who will? Maybe they won't. Maybe no one will call the timeout. I, I joked about this earlier. Are AM60 is really going to go to a tiebreaker with Sim? Well, apparently. Well, <laughs> Apparently, yes. <laughs> Apparently, yes, they are going to go. Uh, a, a nice, uh, man, just nice place. Going to go back. Uh, Simp, obviously, trying to be very aggressive in the north. The one thing, the only thing in my mind that I'm thinking could possibly work for them, and let me kind of, let me, like, in my mind, try to, like, say this so you can see if that'd be a strategy or not. You take your tanks and you push across, and you have usually four um, Aquatic M60s, they have the IS-7, the A4 position there, behind that wall where you can shoot into the northern cap through the windows. And they're pushing all of their members across to get up against it. And they, the first time they tried it, they actually got into that, that kind of area. They got two of the three tanks they sent over. Uh, unfortunately, the last one kind of got caught out. If you have all three, if Sim had all three of their members in there, can delete that tank instantly, is three tanks a valid threat to stop any of the rest of Aquatic M60s to come out and cancel the northern cap? Or is that still just, you just take, you think it's just too much damage, too risky to do that? I think pushing directly up against those windows yeah. is suicide. No, 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 no. Uh, yeah, right. But, oh, you mean just even going at them? Pretty much, most of the time. Gotcha. Yeah. You gotcha. gotta have a trick. You gotta be trying to get them to come to you to collapse and kill you. Mm -mm and then you drop a trap on him. Maybe I'm misunderstanding exactly what you're you're explaining, but we can get to that in a second. Let's go to stats. Let's go to stats. And AM60 got to pick sides? That's right. They, uh, oh, what are they? Um, They're picking defense, looks like. All right, so Felix, Boom. 3,000. Mr. Man, 3,000. Redux, let's call it 3,000. Why not? Flesh, hey, everybody's got 3,000, even though it's not actually You 3, get 3,000. You get 3,000. Yeah, I, I rounded up like 1,000 points. <laughs> Doesn't matter, Crimson Corsair. <laughs> 4,000. We're going with it. <laughs> Overlord Prime. <laughs> I'm only calling that 3,000, buddy. It's, it's Ouch. Wow. Nah, That's it's 3,380. Nice good turn. 3,380. Just, uh, I don't know what to say about it. They did it again. Two different times, attacking the same way, losing in a fairly predictable manner. Hmm. I've liked a lot of what Sim's been doing recently. I like their uh, their aggression. That's where you start tipping over a line of that's too aggressive mm. and perhaps foolhardy. Now, maybe there's some little hitch in this whole thing I don't know I mean, about. Yeah, twice Somebody's supposed out. to do something they didn't do. Right. Who knows? Right. But Could be anything. I don't like the strategy. I don't like pushing across the cap. Like I said, when the five line is open and you've got these two very safe vectors for people to attack you from, mm -hmm. you're dead. Mm. It's only a matter of time. Gotcha. Uh, now, one thing that this I'm not saying I'm not saying Eclipse is doing this at all, but I would assume if you are you know a, a kind of a higher up team going up against you know a lower team like you said maybe trying out the bringing dryness and the artillery on uh, on Cliff 
when they did it. Like, oh, we're up 2-0. We, we, have, we have plenty of room to kind of uh, try new strategies. Let's go for it. Instead of, instead of really sticking to your guns and sticking in, and really kind of treating the opponent with respect, it's something we saw High Voltage do to Eclipse. We, you know, we kind of talked about that. Where High Voltage, you know, yes, they, they, they were up. They had a huge advantage. They could have been aggressive, but they, they didn't do that. I don't think I don't think these these recent cases are are situations of simp attempting to just try something new. Okay. I, I think this is something they practiced and it's not working out right now. Gotcha. Actually, we forgot to talk about that before. The whole uh, difference between North America and and EU yeah. and why they practice differently, mm -hmm. or rather, I don't know why, but <laughs> they practice they, differently they practice and how it affects. This is what it looks so like. North American teams typically care more about winning in practice, which sometimes means that the few strategies they do have are far more airtight. Whereas the EU teams tend to practice more about exploring and trying new and things. Learning. Huh. And that sometimes means that you think a strategy you have is actually good when it's easily countered. The other team just didn't bring out a hard counter. Wow. Because in some cultures it's considered oh, rude. Oh, that would be a huge letdown. It's, it's considered rude to hard counter you. Because it's like, well, you wouldn't have known what I was going to do. That's the, the so difference crazy. Is, the difference is sometimes teams do know what you're going to do. Wow. Because they saw it from somebody else. Sure. But, Maybe we'll have time to talk about it. It's Ghost Town. Right now, it is Ghost Town. It is 4-4. Four to four. <laughs> Who will take it? Will it be Aquatic M60s? Will it be Simp? Let's get right into it and take a look at what we've got for our tanks. AM60s with an E100 to 215 and E5. T57 heavy. T22 and E75. There you are going. And a WZ111-4. Simp with an one E100 at 215. Two T22s, a W100 and two Conquerors. Wow. Wow. Full. Um, so, yeah, it, it causes... North American teams to put a lot of stock in certain strategies, it's and it like, kind of deflates their their morale and their egos when they don't work because maybe they were practicing EU teams and the, and the European teams didn't show them the holes in their strategy. That's crazy to me, I, but I, I love that. Meanwhile, the EU teams are able to play more flexible, but sometimes, so that typically means that the EU teams, the top EU team, and that, this is all esports, not just tanks. This typically means that the top EU teams are better than the top NA teams, mm -hmm. but the, a lot of the people who aren't the top EU teams struggle against middle or lower pack NA, NA teams. teams. Huh. Because once you, when you get to a point where you are that good as the top EU teams are, mm -hmm. then you can handle your dynamic. You can handle all the, all the refined strategy, strategy of, of one of the best North American teams. Gotcha. But if you are not that good, then the refined strategy of a North American just team, tears you apart. even even a middle of the pack team, is rehearsed enough to where they're just a rock that you break yourself upon. Huh. That's not necessarily as true in North Am in, in World of Tanks as it is in uh, other games, okay. but it still holds some water. I, 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 I mean, it's absolutely fascinating to me, and, and it, but it, it does kind of make sense with the kind of middle tier NA teams against the middle tier EU teams, because if you're a team who's really good at being flexible, Veggie taking 607 points of damage during that T22, uh, if you are a team that's good at being flexible, another team comes in and they have a, a very airtight strategy, yeah. you have to be quickly flexible. You have to be perfectly flexible. Right, yeah, Or exactly. it doesn't work. Exactly. It just doesn't work, and it's, it's, a, it's a tricky thing. And then in World of Tanks, you have the Russian teams, and they're ridiculous. A lot of them are very, very good. And that, I believe, I believe all of these things also have uh, impacts from the culture of the server they play on. Mm. But that's a different discussion I don't think we can really get into here. Uh, even though we do have a little bit of time, Veggie's down quite a bit, down to 500 in his tank over here. E63, M6 can come close him up and pretty much win this game, as long as he doesn't overplay his hand. So he's wondering a little bit why he's playing a little bit so reserved. Yeah, Perhaps they got some other motion going on, so he's just holding until the time is right to sure. go do it. Uh, which there's a certain certain kind of logic that makes sense, but AM60s, they're not going to wait. They realize they're in a weird position. They're going to try and push around and take some more map control away from Simp, push Simp into a particular corner, and get away from the angles where if E63 does kill Veggie, he won't be able to have shots on him. Let's see if that works out for Aquatic M60. His flesh taking 773 there in that 5B. Aquatic now pushing uh, over really a lot of them to the center of the map here, trying to find Simp where they're at. An interesting place we don't see a lot of people fight. Aquatic being very aggressive here against Simp. Crypto Corsair taking a little bit of damage there in that Conqueror. The E100 taking 1254 Redux, getting dropped to just barely above half health there in his tank. There's a lot of damage there going on. Aquatic M60. Simps now up about 2,000 points of HP. Shapeshifter does do 394 there onto Crimson. Uh, but Morphic and Redux taking a lot of damage in the meanwhile. And it looks like Aquatic is just slowly getting picked apart here from all the members of Simp. Trinitz takes down Morphic in the E75 here. 
And as a tank falling, this looks like this might just be Simp's kind of a trigger. They know that a lot of those members are low. Looks like they're just gonna actually just keep doing what they're doing. Like they're, they're whittling them down, just working. Why not continue it? You have uh, Flesh there in the 5B being very cautious here. Redux has to be careful as well. Here comes the Droxus and Crimson with a push, followed by Nitz. We'll see if Photo and Drynas come around the other side to push as well. This is an interesting place to fight here because generally you're always proxy spotted, so you can always see kind of where, you know, what, you know, between some aquatic and six where the positions are. You can pretty much always see where these four tanks in the center are. Uh, so not a lot you can really do as Aquatic M60s if we just kind of sit there. But I guess that's all they do have to do here. That's yes and no. In terms of that's all they have to do. But that's certainly where they're stuck right now. <laughs> and Simp <laughs> has a 3,2800 HP lead. Whew. It's growing even more as we speak. And unless Veggie can get around and take out a 63M6, it's there's really no solid answer here for the 60s. That oh, was a trap. Oh my gosh, Mr. Man found it in the face. 35 points of HP remaining in that, uh, remaining in that one four. Crimson course there, take it down Felix. Looks like now Simp is just gonna use this to snowball this victory. Nitz takes down Flesh, Nitz takes down Redux. Will Nitz take down Veggie? No, it's gonna be E63M6 over the prime finds Mr. Man. E63M6 finds Veggie, and it is just Shapeshifter who remains here. Over the prime takes him down, and that is gonna be Sims' fifth and final victory. Keep closing out alive. Closing out the night. That is true. What a what a great way to kind of end that one. It seems like that has been kind of like the the back and forth of Sim tonight. It's like, hey, like, all right, let's be aggressive. Ah, it didn't work out. Let's be aggressive. Oh, we crushed it. Oh, let's, let's be aggressive. Ah, it didn't work out. Let's get stats out of the way as quickly as possible here. All right, let's do it. So, everybody pretty much broke 1,500%. Hey, that, is, that is a good that is a good strategy. That's a strategy going right. Hey, maybe there's some merit to that whole ghost town Himmelsdorf thing, right? A <laughs> ton of points coming out of this match. <laughs> That's true. A ton of points we coming out of this match. We need to do some science. Should have put more people in this match. Just didn't see this coming. There you have it. Those are the numbers. Mm. Good game, Sim. Good game for all you guys. And again, that By is going to close out our fourth and final match of the night. Let's do a quick recap just in case any guys missed anything. Uh, first, Color Wanted beat Rival 5-3, to three, followed by Noble beating High Voltage 5-1, to one, third 07, beating Eclipse 5-4, to four, and finally what you guys just saw, Simp beating Aquatic 5-4. to four. David, out of the four matches that we had tonight, which one was your most excited to see? Which one, which, which one did you love seeing? For me, I know my I love watching Color Wanted versus Rival. That's what I was going to go with. Rival and Color Wanted, seeing seeing Simple Tankers return to form yep. a bit and seeing Color Wanted get yep. tested by a veteran team, mm -hmm. it's got to be the Responding highlight of the well. It was a fantastic match to watch. Let us know, guys, what was the highlight for you out of this uh, now our, as we're going into our, our sixth week of Season 2. Guys, uh, on behalf of – not on behalf of – I almost closed this out before saying thank you for following us on Facebook and YouTube backslash WGLNA. Thank you for watching this on BattleViewer.com for all of you that did. And thank you for following us on Twitter at WGLNA so you guys can stay up to date on what's happening in the community around you. I also almost closed it out without telling anyone to tune in Thursday, January 14th for these following four amazing matches. A first, High Voltage versus DNA, followed by Googly Bombers versus Rival. Third will be Aquatic M60s versus Eclipse, and finally, Caller Wanted versus Sims. Some exciting matches indeed coming out there on Thursday. And now, on behalf of everyone here at the WGLNA, that has been David Williams. I am Christian Toma, and as always, thanks for stopping by.